on behalf of Elise and I, um, we want to welcome and thank you all for joining us and celebrating Aaron and Zach's wedding. It is quite special to be here celebrating our youngest child's wedding. In a little bit, uh, we're going to uh, put out some pictures of Zach and Aaron growing up. As I look through those photographs, besides getting very emotional, I also realize that I cannot help but think that um, theirs was a marriage that was just meant to be. I truly cannot believe I'm standing here right now my little sister. Sometimes it feels like almost yesterday that I was sitting at the kitchen table with my grandma Marge and brothers waiting for my parents to call from the hospital. Baby number four, the Kabooski, had been born. When the phone rang, my dad asked my grandma to pass me the phone. He gave me the good news. I had a sister, and my life would never be the same. Because truly, having a sister to share your life with is one of the most special relationships. When Zach called me up last week, said, hey, Scott, you mind being the best man at my wedding? <laughs> I was really stumped for, okay, which story am I going to tell? It, it hit me last night at the rehearsal dinner. Zach and Aaron wanted to write a poem about their wedding and to greet everyone, and Zach really thought a limerick would be great, but they just didn't have time with all the wedding planning, so I thought, look, I'm the best man. This is my duty. Anything that he wants to have happen <laughs> needs to happen. So I have a few words about Zach. There once was a man you could trust. He was tall and bearded and just. He loved to build gadgets and could do so like magic, even if they spontaneously combust. As I look at them and I watch them, uh, up on the altar today um, I just wanted to say that I want you to always remember that um, the paradise you have is not everything that surrounds you here but it's the love you see when you look in each other's eyes and you will always see paradise there with that love and I think that's very special uh, raise your glasses again to Aaron and Zach, may your house be full of sunshine, your hearts be full of cheer, and your love grow deeper each and every day of each and every year. Here's to Aaron and Zach. I, Zachary, take you, Aaron, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Aaron, take you, Zachary, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life.